top 10 most fun survivor perks to use in Dead by Daylight. Starting the list with Breakout, it's a cool perk and funny to use. While you are within 6 meters of a carried survivor, you get speed bonus survivors, wiggle speed is boosted by 20%. You just have to run next to the killer and avoid his attacks. Next one is a new perk, Blood Rush. If you activate this perk, you will lose a health state and recover from the exhausted effect. So you can activate two exhaust station perks in a row and if you successfully escape from it, the chase, you will get back the health. It can be a very useful and lifesaver perk if you use it in the right time and the right way. Also, it can be so funny, depends on which perks you will combine it with. Use it smartly, unfortunately this perk can be activated only once in a match. Next is Saboteur. If you use this perk, you will see the aura of the hooks and you can sabotage the hook very fast and you can do it without a toolbox. It's a risky perk but funny to use. Seventh in the list is Decisive Strike. This perk is good against tunneling killers. After being unhooked, the perk is activating for one minute and if the killer grabs you again, you just have to hit a hard check and it will stun the killer and you are free. Unfortunately, this perk can't be used in the end game. The next perk is also a new perk, Cut Loose. After a fast vault, this perk activates and for 6 seconds, your all fast vaults will be silent. Every fast vault you take will reset the timer, so this perk will be active again for 6 seconds. I think it can be funny, holding the volume up in silent. Of course, you can combine it with some other good perks, make it much more effective, like Lucky Break or Dance With Me and so on. Fifth is Boil Over. When the killer is carrying you, he won't see the hook hours within 16 meter and increase the intensity of the struggle effect by 80%. Also, if the killer jumps down from a height, you get 33 percent wiggle progress. It's just a funny seeing the killer struggling while carrying you. Next one is flashbang. It's a cool perk and so funny to use. So if you repair the half of a generator you can enter a locker without any item in your hand and create a flash grenade. This can be used by many ways. You can blind the killer by carrying a survivor or just blind while chasing you. You can use it against hex traps or artist's power or it can block nurses blinking also. Third most fun perk is that hard and I put in also off the record because they basically do the same thing. While you are injured and about to get down by the killer just press the active ability button to trigger the endurance status effect. Off the record also do the same, grants the endurance status effect but this perk activates after being unhooked for 80 seconds. Both perk can be irritating for the killer and this makes it just more funny to use. Second perk is head on. If you are standing in a locker for 3 seconds, this perk activates and then if you do a rushed action, it will stun the killer. Not a very effective perk, but it's even more funny. And maybe you can save a survivor with this perk if the killer carrying him in front of that locker you are in. I have been saved like that couple times, even I didn't think this will happen. It just make it much funnier even for other survivors. First, the top, the most fun perk in the game, my personal favorite is Blast Mine. If you repair at least half of a generator, the perk activates and you can install a trap which is active for 50 seconds. I recommend to use it when you hear and know the killer is coming to your gen. When the killer damages the generator, it will explode, stunning and blinding the killer. Not just super funny, but very helpful and strong perk. You can earn a lot of time with this for other survivors and of course for yourself to run away.